I don't know who I'm preaching to. But I don't care how twenty, how rough 2019 was. All it takes for one word from God to light up your 2020. I'm dirty, y'all. But I'm so glad uh, that when God decided uh, that God was going to send somebody, uh, God knew what God had to do uh, to be a blessing to you. I like it uh, because I'm glad when God got ready to start the nation, uh, he sent a man named Adam. Uh, when God wanted to first save the nation, uh, he sent a man named Noah. When God wanted to bless the nation, uh, he used a man named Abraham. Uh, when God wanted to pray for the nation, uh, he used a man named Daniel. Uh, when God wanted to feed the nation, he used a man named Joseph. When God wanted to free the nation, he used a man named Moses. When God wanted to separate the nations, he used a man named David. When God wanted to inspire the nation, he used a man named Solomon. But when God got ready to save the nation, he didn't use none of them. When God got ready to save the nation, he said, I need somebody else. When God got ready to save the nation. He said, there's got to be one who can help me save everybody. He started looking around all through heaven. Couldn't find no help nowhere. And finally he said, I see one that I can send. If I can just send this one. Somebody is saying, describe that one to me. If I had to put them into words, I would tell you that S.M. Lockridge via John Maxwell described him like this. He said, no barrier can hinder him from pouring out his blessing. He's enduringly strong, entirely sincere, eternally steadfast, immortally graceful, imperially powerful, yet impartially merciful. He's the greatest phenomenon in the world. He is God's son. Won't you push your neighbor and tell him I need somebody like that? He said he's a sinner savior, the sinner piece of civilization. He doesn't have to... Thank you. 